Hello everybody, we are back with the Aqua One Mini Reef 90 and I have been really really busy um, for the past week, really struggling with this tank, trying to get it, uh, try and get the filtration sorted, the plumbing. So this is a sumped reef tank, so uh, we've got a overflow box in the corner where the pipes would go down and then it would come into a sump down here. This is the sump here, it's obviously the other way around. I'm using it as a shelf right now because this isn't going to be used as a sump. We've actually completely ditched all this. We've siliconed the holes up there so they're completely watertight. Got rid of all the pipe work and we've converted this whole corner weir into a filter. So it's an internal filter now uh, because we tried absolutely everything with the pipe work. Um, but it was really loud, it was making a constant like toilet flushing sound, constant, really, really loud. Um, so I, I couldn't deal with that, especially in a bedroom as well. Um, so we tried using a ball valve and a emergency overflow, and it it, it silenced it, but it, the, uh, the water line in here kept on dropping down randomly, completely random times, when, for what reason I'm not really too sure. Uh, but it kept dropping down, it just wasn't really working, so we completely ditched the whole idea of uh, using a sump and we've converted this whole corner weir into a fil filter. Uh, it's not completely done, we've got the skimmer, we've got the heater um, tucked down there, the return pump's down there, if you can see that, that's an Eheim Compact 600, the exact same pump I used on my Fluval Evo, uh, obviously it's got uh, 600 litres an hour pushing out these dual outlet nozzles which I've got on there to distribute the flow uh, a little bit more evenly and uh, I've got I've still got loads of room underneath to put all my biological uh, which I'll do over the next few days once we get some sand in here which I'm actually about to do in uh, a minute actually and after I've filmed this video I'm going to upload it and then I'm going to put some sand in this and then do the uh, do another video on that uh, during the week during the end of the week I've also got my controllers mounted up on the wall, I've only got two at the moment, obviously the third one will probably go over here which will be the wave pump, uh, but it's the skimmer, uh, Tunzi 9004, and then we've got the temp controller in there, obviously it's low temperature at the moment because I don't have an ATO for this tank at the moment, I mean I do, but it doesn't fit into the corner weir which is where it has to go, it has to go in the corner because it's going to be evaporating from the corner, the water line is going to drop in here, not the uh, display so that has to go and then it doesn't quite fit in the corner so I'm gonna go for a slightly smaller um, ATO which I think I'm gonna go for the D&D &D one the exact same one my dad's got uh, which he's had great success with it's, um, it's got a light sensor on it instead of it being like mechanical uh, so it's a little bit more reliable it's really really small and uh, the pumps a lot quieter as well so annoyingly it's 70 pound it's gonna look a little bit pricey but I can do it and it will fit in there and it's something you know I got I have to have on the tank so temperatures running at 22 right now so it doesn't evap if have I, and I don't really need temperature in here or anything anyway because there's, there's nothing you know livestock in the tank I've got the two lights mounted up here um, obviously well, I mean they're on a hundred percent white right now no blues just for the uh, filming uh, but I'm going to run, on, run them on probably half power, uh, well probably really low power and still I got, until I got get coral in here, I'll probably run them about, about half. But I've got both of them on here just to reduce shading when I get the scape in here, uh, so it's not shading loads. Um, and it looks really cool to have them both on there, it looks a little bit more symmetrical. So in the cabinet here, I've, I did all this today actually, I did the uh, all cabling cable management so all the plugs in here is about eight plugs I think eight different uh, bits of equipment um, so we've got the uh, this is the cabinet light there's another cabinet light there and then we've got return pump skimmer brief LEDs both at the end and then we got that's dosa and I think that is the heater um, so the dosa's down here obviously it's not on this isn't going to be on for quite a few months uh, obviously until I get coral in it starts consuming alkalinity, calcium and magnesium I'll start dosing, I've got one dosing container here uh, obviously I'm going to need another one, probably not a third one because you usually don't have to dose magnesium uh, well at least not not a lot of it and even if I do have to dose it I'll just hand dose it because you barely have to dose magnesium uh, the main ones are just alkalinity, calcium so we get two dosing containers uh, for the tank and the light that is lighting up this sump is the light that actually came with the tank. It's a Aquan, well, no, it's not an Aquan, it's a Mary Glow 
light. I'm not really too, it's some. It's not very good. It's it's a reef light. It does. It will grow coral, soft coral, and LPS. Probably not SPS. It's only 15 watts. I think it is on full power. Um, so there it is up there. It's got a good spread, but it's not particularly powerful. But it will do soft corals and LPS if you want uh, this tank just to run that. But for SPS, I don't think it will do that. You want to upgrade to something like a uh, Reef LED 50 or AI Prime. So we have been fiddling about with this tank for weeks and weeks. But finally, we've got it silent, running really, really well. And I'm actually really happy with it now. So I think I'm going to leave this video here, just a short one, little, little update on all the stress that I've been through the past few weeks, you have no idea, it's, it was a really, really loud tank, of, you know, it was really loud, um, but I've managed to get it absolutely silent, this Eheim Compact his pump is really, really quiet, um, and yeah, it's just running really, really nicely. So yeah, I will upload another video towards the end of the week, probably this weekend if I can, and uh, show you the tank with hopefully some sand in uh, and get the filtration done and hopefully start the cycle on this tank um, so we can get some livestock in here so i will see you in just a few days bye